Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to put customers into groups and then search for them, search for customers by what group you want to look for in Microsoft Access. Today's question comes from Erica in Bay City, Michigan, one of my Platinum members. Erica says, I'd like the ability to group my customers according to interests. I sell collectibles and memorabilia. I know you're very fond of science fiction and fantasy. I am. So to use your example, let's say I want to tag customers who are interested in Star Trek, those who like Star Wars, and the weird ones who like both, right? Firefly, Doctor Who, Lord of the Rings, and so on. I'd like to be able to pull up a list of just the people who are in a specific group so I can market to them. What's the best way to do this? Well, Erica, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One is the easy way. And then another way is going to be the best way. We'll do the easy way first in this video, then I'll show you the best way in the member video after this. Before we get started, a couple of prerequisites. I'd like you to know this stuff before watching this video. You should know how to do a wildcard search using the like keyword. You should know what query criteria are. String concatenation, that's putting two strings together. And how to filter records. These are all free videos. They're on my website. There's the links. I'll put them down in the description below the video. You can also find them on my YouTube channel. So go watch these four videos before continuing on with this one, if you don't know what any of this stuff is. Okay, so here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download from my website. You can go grab a copy if you want to. In my main menu here, I've got a customer form. Now for each customer, let's say I wanna put tags on each customer to put them into different groups. Kind of like you see tags on a website, right? And we'll just put in a tag field, whatever tags we wanna associate with this customer. So let's go back to the customer table, right click, design view. I'll come down to the bottom here and I'll make a new field called tags. I'm gonna make this a long text field so it can be pretty much as long as you want. All right, let's save that. Close it up. Let's go to the customer form, design view. And now since I've added that to the table, I can make a field down here for this customer's tags. Let's go to the form design tab here. Go to add existing fields, grab tags and drop it right there. Okay, long text fields come in pretty big. We don't need it to be quite that big, maybe like that. Two lines is usually enough. I'm gonna format paint to copy that black down to there. Okay, save it, close it, open it back up again. Now in this tags field, put whatever tags you want to use to track these customers. If you want to use hashtags like on Twitter or whatever, that's fine. You could do like Star Trek. Okay, well, Star Wars, you know, Lord of the Rings like that. You know, uh, Jim Kirk, obviously Star Trek. Whoop. Okay, let's go to uh, Deanna Troy. She's Star Trek too, but we'll say she's a Star Wars fan. And she likes Lord of the Rings. Okay, we'll do one more. Let's do, uh, actually, let's go to, uh, let's go to Malcolm Reynolds. He's a Firefly fan. Huh? And he also likes um, Castle. <laughs> okay. All right, so now I've got tags set up. And you don't have to use a little hashtag mark if you don't want to. That's totally up to you. Access doesn't care. Now, how do I bring up a list of people who are just Star Trek fans? Well, we can do that with a query, create, query design. All right, bring in the customer table, close that. And for this, let's say I just want to see customer ID, first name, last name, maybe their email address, because I'm going to send them all an email, right? And then come down here and bring tags in. Okay, now down here for the criteria, you can't just put in here um, Star Trek like that because if I run it now I'm only going to see the customers where the entire tag equals Star Trek so we want it to where Star Trek can appear anywhere inside that field so we have to use a wildcard search with the like keyword that's why I wanted you to watch that wildcard video first I'm gonna zoom in shift F2 so this needs to be like and then inside here star and then a Star Trek and then a star. That means put any number of characters before it, any number of characters after it. Yeah, if you want, you can put the hashtag in there, but again, you really don't need it. Okay, now when I run it, I'll see all the people who are Star Trek fans. Okay. 
If you want to do a second one, right, you got like, you got or going down. So you can go like Star Trek or like uh, Lord of the Rings. So either one of those conditions can be true. Run it now and you'll see both. If you want it to be and, you go across, right? It's or down, across, over. So we'd have to take this second one, right, and put it over here. But we've got to add tags again. That's okay. And now put it there. Now they got to match both of those. All right, and then now if you run it, you'll see there's there's me. I'm in both of them. And yeah, this, for the first tag, it's renamed expression 1004. That's okay. Just ignore that. Okay, remember, it's and, across, or down. Little commercial. This is something that I cover in great detail in my Access Beginner Level 5 class. We do lots with the wildcard conditions and across or down, all this stuff. Access Beginner Level 5. Okay, you'll find it on my website. And there's lots more, too. All kinds of good stuff. Look at all the stuff that's covered in there. Okay, what is that, an hour and 14 minutes long? All right, that's level five. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in more information. Now, I'm going to save this. Let me, uh, actually, let me get rid of this second one here. Let's say you only want to search for one at a time, but you don't want to have to hard code it into the query. You can use a parameter query, right? Parameter query, go like this. Zoom back in, do this, watch this. Get rid of Star Trek in the middle here. Put quote, star quote, ampersand, and then inside of square brackets, enter the tag like that and that what this does is this is a parameter query I got a video on that too I'll put a link down below if you don't know what a parameter query is this will prompt the user to enter the tag that'll put that inside of asterisks and then send that to the like see what I'm doing here this way I can save this query run this query anytime and it'll ask the user to type in the value so let me save this now this will be my customer tag search queue we'll call it and now if I run this the first thing it says is enter the tag all right Star Wars like that enter boom there's my Star Wars people see I can close it I can run it again type in Lord of the Rings boom there's your Lord of the Rings people see how nice that is and here's your email address if you want to make it so that you only see people with email addresses you can make this is not no that way you won't be bothered. If you're going to send an email out, you don't want to be bothered with people in this list that don't have email addresses. Right? I'm going to get rid of that, though, because you want to see everybody. Okay? One more trick I'll show you. One more trick. We've got our customer list right here, right? Okay. Right-click, design view. Let's say I don't care about this stuff anymore out here. Get rid of these. But what I do want in here is the tag. All right? So add existing fields. Bring in my tag. Okay? Get rid of that label. And we'll slide this over like this. Come here. And I've noticed that these guys aren't exactly on the grid. So right click, size to grid. Okay, and let's extend this label out. And we'll make this a tags. Yeah, I just use the same label in the header. I didn't used to. I started doing this recently. I kind of like it better because it's one label. It's no big deal. Just put a bunch of spaces in there. <laughs> All right, save that, close it. There we go. Now, a quick way to see all the people who are Star Trek fans is just double-click on Star Trek, right-click, and then contain Star Trek. And there you go. If you want to filter it down even more, if you want to see Star Trek fans and Lord of the Ring fans, add another filter. And there you go. There's only one. And it's me. And you can unfilter that. All right. And you can also come in here and quickly add tags here, too. All right. He's a fan of the Borg. <laughs> Will Riker is not a fan of the Borg, so not Borg. No, whatever. <laughs> okay, and that's that's one way to put people into classifications or groups is to add tags to them. Okay, that's one way to do it. Now, this way obviously has its downsides too in that you are relying on people to spell things right and and use consistent tags. And you might have even noticed when I first started typing in some of these I actually kind of goofed on one of them, right? If I did this, you might not notice I typed in Star Turk. So you might want a consistent list of tags or groups, right? And I'll show how to do that in the extended cut for the members. So you want to learn more in the extended cut, we'll build an actual group table where you can pick groups from a list instead of having to type in freely formatted tags. 
right? You got to deal with misspellings and someone putting in like Star Space Trek instead of just Star Trek is one word. So this, I think, is a better solution. You could put people into unlimited groups. I'll show you how to do a many-to-many -many relationship along with a junction table. You can then pick from the list. We'll see how to then filter on the customer list, right? On our customer list, I'll show you how to pick something like Star Trek, and it will only show you people in the Star Trek groups. We'll use my DLOOKUP plus function so you can get a list of them on here. All right, that's all covered in the extended cut, 20 minutes long. Silver members and up get access to all the extended cut videos. Gold members can download these databases. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.